Hey there, science enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep, pun intended, into the incredible, mind-blowing, and slightly bizarre journey of one of the ocean's most iconic giants, the whale. From land-loving, four-legged critters to the massive, graceful swimmers we know today, the evolution of whales is a story 50 million years in the making. So, grab your snorkel, because we're about to take a swim through time. Believe it or not, the ancestors of today's whales were once land dwellers. Meet Pachycetus, a furry little guy living around 50 million years ago in what is now Pakistan. Think of him as a cute, dog-like creature who occasionally dipped his toes into the water. But this wasn't just a splash about. It was the start of a grand evolutionary journey. Yep, whales had legs. Crazy, right? Imagine a whale walking on land. Weird, but true. They still had features like a snout with nostrils at the front and proper limbs for trotting around, but there was something special about them. Next up, Ambulocetus, also known as the walking whale. This guy was like a mix between a crocodile and an otter. He could still walk, but he was a lot more comfortable in water. Scientists believe he had webbed feet, making him a pretty solid swimmer. Think of Ambulocetus as that friend who claims they're a great swimmer, but you can still see them doggy paddling in the pool. As time went on, early whales like Myocetus began spending more and more time in water. They even gave birth on land, like sea lions today. But the real game changer was Basilosaurus, an absolute beast. This guy was long, serpentine, and 100% aquatic. No more land walking for him. Oh, and get this. Basilosaurus still had little legs, but they were like the tiny, awkward, never-used gym membership of limbs. They didn't do much, but they were there. Fast forward millions of years and whales have completely transformed. Those limbs evolved into powerful flippers, nostrils. They migrated up to the top of their heads, forming a blowhole. And let's not forget echolocation, a biological sonar that's like a built-in GPS. Whales could now hunt in the darkest, murkiest depths of the ocean. Pretty cool, huh? Yep, they see with sound. Can you imagine walking around and seeing your surroundings just by making clicking noises? Well, toothed whales like dolphins and sperm whales do just that. So, how did whales evolve from land animals to ocean giants? It's all about adaptation. Over millions of years, these early land mammals modified their bodies to thrive in water. Evolution didn't undo their land-based features, it just reshaped them into something new. Think of it as the ultimate makeover. And here's a fun fact. Whales are closely related to hippos. Yep, the next time you see a hippo yawning lazily in a river, just remember that their distant cousins are out there swimming in the open ocean, using echolocation to hunt giant squid. Family reunions must be wild. But it's not just about how cool this story is. Whale evolution helps scientists understand more than just these magnificent creatures. It tells us about adaptation, survival, and even gives us clues about Earth's changing environment over millions of years. By studying whale fossils, scientists can predict how modern whales might adapt to future changes in our oceans. And the best part? We're still discovering more. New fossils, new clues, new ways to understand the world beneath the waves. Who knows what secrets these magnificent mammals will reveal next? So there you have it, folks. The epic, jaw-dropping, and totally amazing evolution of whales, from land-loving, legged mammals to the ocean's gentle giants. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what other fascinating evolutionary stories you'd like to hear. Until next time, keep swimming, keep exploring, and keep being curious. And remember, whales didn't just adapt, they thrived. So can you.